In this short video, I'm going to give you an example of renumbering within Microsoft Dynamics NAV software. And I'm going to do it directly from the customer area. So I'm going to bring up uh, one of our customers here, Guilford Water Department. Let's just pull that up on screen. And I'm going to go directly to viewing the sales history for this customer. And you can see I've sold two items to them in the uh, past. And here's the dates back on these dates and here's the document looks like it's the same document number so there's some actual nice sales history here that I don't want to goof up if I change the number of this customer let's look at that one other direction if I go to my posted documents and come into my posted sales invoice uh, line so here's my uh, posted sales invoice this is our split screen view of it where I can see for each uh, customer actually each uh, posted invoice this is each invoice and what was sold to that a particular customer in detail is going to be shown here but let's go to uh, customer 50,000 this is the one we're going to experiment with and it moves directly to it filters I just filtered that list down to which you could have had thousands uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, posted invoices and it goes directly to um, either by the document number or uh, listed the customer uh, number but here's the same two items so I can I just want you to see uh, the historical information which we don't want to affect if we renumber a customer okay we want to be sure we keep that linkage to all of the sales transactions because this is where you get so much statistical information about past sales and trends and prices of what you sold uh, to this customer in the past for so we don't want to uh, goof any of that up when we go and renumber but one of the powers of the NAV software is when you're sitting on a customer card right here and you say, well, I've decided I don't want to use a, a pure number. I want to use an alphanumeric code. So let's just change this to Guilford, G-U-I-L-F-O-R-D. I'm going to press enter and watch. Do you want to rename the record? So it's saying, are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to say yes. Let's give it just a minute. What it's going to do, do is go through, think about this. It's got to go through all the past transactions. And depending on the size of your database, this may take a little while. And it's got to look and analyze where it was 50,000 and change that to your new code, uh, Guilford. Then when it finishes, and it's done that now, it comes back. And now that customer is uh, now a different number but we want to be sure that we haven't lost our sales history so let's come here to view sales history and in fact now you'll see the customer sale to number is Guilford same if I go to my posted documents so I come over here to my posted documents and I can go sales invoices or I can go to my split screen uh, Guilford in fact there it is right at the top and it is showing uh, Guilford uh, with a different number than what it had before so very easy uh, to actually renumber customers vendors inventory items fixed assets bank numbers whatever you need to even a chart of account can be renumbered uh, to a new number uh, throughout the system and then depending on the size of your database and how many transactions have to be um, adjusted to accommodate that change but it goes through every place that they uh, has those posted transactions and make sure that that linkage is maintained very nice feature within Microsoft Dynamics NAV